Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com and it's 2017. Happy New Year everybody. This is the first video of 2017 and I'm going to take a look at several things German today as well as a featured artist and a couple of good books I think that you will find very interesting if you're a sketcher, drawer, somebody who likes to um, you know doodle and sketch and journal and things like that. But before we get to all that I just wanted to say again Happy New Year to all the subscribers and if you're new to the channel I also just want to wish everybody out there a happy and healthy and prosperous 2017. I hope it's a great one for you. Uh, 2016 was great uh, looking back but I'm eager to get into 2017. Lots of new stuff to, to uh, bring to the channel. All right, so here's a look at what you'll see in today's video. The Leuchtturm sketchbook, which um, I wanted to try out because they're um, a competitor to Moleskine and a Hannah Mule uh, sketchbook. They've got a new series of sketchbooks out and they are awesome. My friend Roz Stendahl reviewed these extensively on her website, but I wanted to give share a few thoughts with you about them. The Stedler pigment liner, I'm going to be using that today as well throughout the video. Some Schmincke watercolors. I got some gifts from Dusseldorf, Germany, which I'm really excited to share uh, with you guys. Two good books you should check out for the new year, and we'll pay a visit to featured artist Lynn Pauley's sketchbook today. She'll give us a little sketchbook tour, and I'll give you some two-minute sketching tips at the end. So stick around for all that and more as we ring in the new year together. Glad you're here. All right, well, first of all, um, you may have noticed a theme, and that theme is Germany. Uh, if you didn't guess all of these products that I'm going to show you today maybe with the exception of one or two everything here is made in Germany or it is designed in Germany and made somewhere else but it's under sort of strict uh, German quality control which I find uh, in the end makes a better product I'm a big fan of what is made in Germany I lived there for a few years myself and um, if there's one thing that can be said about Germans um, they, they do generally care about quality and being good at the things they make, um, you know, craftsmanship, things like that. Und so, Deutschland ist wunderbar. Alles gut. Well, maybe not everything, but remember, Germany makes a lot of outstanding art-related product. That's what it's all about today. So, on this Leuchtturm 180-gram uh, sketch paper, I found it to be... Uh, actually put together much better than the moleskin of the same size. Um, you can tell with moleskins that they're kind of mass produced and I'm sure these are as well but the quality of the paper, the stitching, the way the the books fold flat and things like that is just all around I think a better experience for for me. Now they're gonna cost you a little bit more on average but but they are excellent um, well put together books and you know Leuchtturm is kind of famous for creating these dotted uh, notebooks they have the little tiny dots in there you can uh, if you're a journaler you can sketch to uh, you know it gives you a guide to do your lettering and things um, but it's really cool anyway on to these um, Hannah Mule nostalgia notebooks or sketchbooks these are awesome so I walked into wet paint one day, uh, as I usually do. <laughs> I wander into wet paint probably uh, twice a week. But um, my good friend and longtime store manager and now owner of wet paint, Darren, was in. And he said, hey, Marty, I've got something really cool I think you'd be interested in. Come take a look. I go back in their sort of warehouse or staging area, and there's these cases there with these Hannah Mule uh, sketchbooks in them. And he says to me, Roz... Stendhal had me order a bunch of these. She thinks they're great. Um, and I'll put a link in my in the description again to Roz's review. And I'll we'll take a look at her website in a second. But I said, well, if Roz thinks they're cool, I'm sure I will too. So, um, but let me give it a try. So I picked up a few of these. And, um, and I gave them a try, especially this little one here. I didn't crack open the big one right away because I wanted to see how well the paper worked you know try it on a small scale first and if it's nice then go to the bigger sketchbook but first thing I noticed is that it's very high quality uh, very well made and very well constructed so the binding has a really nice texture to it or the the cover the hard cover has a really nice texture to it the binding is all very nicely stitched and when you open these they will lay flat really very nicely so you don't have to um, 
you know, push hard or, you know, uh, try to set them between two heavy objects to get the pages to lay flat or anything like that. They just, they kind of open and lay very nicely. So um, the binding is just really outstanding. You can see there it's all stitched, very high quality. You can see that for yourself as you get a closer look at that binding. I mean, uh, just well put together. You can tell people took their time and sort of uh, made the good choices to put together a really quality product. They're not going to be cheap. Uh, they're going to set you back um, uh, more than you're going to pay for the average sketchbook. But then maybe you don't want to put your work in an average sketchbook anymore. Maybe you're ready to upgrade. It's 2017 and maybe you want to, you said to yourself, you know what? I'm going to spoil myself with something really nice. Well, the good thing is about these Hannah Mule sketchbooks is they come in a variety of sizes. So you don't have to break the bank to try maybe a slightly smaller size to see if you like it. And if you do, maybe it catches on and, and you become a fan. Um, this takes in no way my love away from Stillman and Byrne, which are my favorite uh, sketchbooks, uh, and they're made right here in the United States. But this is about Germany and all things German related. So let's stick to the uh, nostalgia for today and these Hannah Mules. They are really, really good. Um, and they definitely compete with the Stillman and Byrne. Um, this is the, the larger size. I don't know if it's the largest size, but it is a pretty, uh, pretty substantial size, hard bound sketchbook. Some people prefer the ring bound. Um, I do myself, but I like it. And that's mostly because I couldn't find a hard bound um, sketchbook to lay flat as flat as I wanted to but these do they lay pretty flat and they are excellent that way so there's nothing to really hold me back in terms of that now as I open up this larger sketchbook you can get in here and, and see the texture of the paper is really nice and if you look uh, closely and I'll zoom in here there's this nice stitching in the um, uh, binding just very nice uh, machine stitching in the binding here and you can just tell it's it's well done and they cared about uh, putting together a quality product. Like I said, it's going to cost you a few bucks more, but you know what? In the end, and I mentioned this uh, in almost every video I make, but in case you haven't heard it before, <laughs> for those of you that are regular subscribers, you know what's coming. Um, cheap is never quality and quality is rarely cheap. So um, you spend a few bucks more and you get something uh, really uh, nice and that's important if you're into quality which in the end I think you will be because you end up spending more to buy cheaper stuff because you end up buying the same stuff over again because it's not as good and doesn't last as long um, yeah anyway I'll get off my soapbox here and get back to the, to the uh, talking about these German made products these are Stettler um, pigment liner ink pens very nice ink pens the thing about these pens that I find work better for me than most every other ink pen I've tried in the past is A, the tips hold up really well. They're super durable and they don't bend as easy as some of the other types of pens. B, the ink is really outstanding and it's long lasting. It doesn't change colors or fade, which I like very much. And so I'm a big fan of those pens. You should try them if you get a chance. I'm gonna use a pencil here this is a water soluble pencil in this Hannah Mule book quick change subjects on you here but I wanted to test this page and then these are Schmenke watercolors in the same uh, book and I just wanted to kind of test out light washes and things like that in these sketchbooks because that's what a lot of people use them for obviously so that's uh, I just wanted to give it a test and I'll let that dry for a few minutes and then check the back of it and see if there's any warping or anything like that um, I don't expect it to be like 140 pound uh, watercolor paper or anything like that but it's nice to know that that the paper will keep its continuity consistency uh, characteristics um, integrity if you will uh, that it doesn't fall apart or warp too badly or just get weird and funky and and this doesn't you can see here it it's pretty nice it uh, I had no problems at all with it yeah I mean looks good feels good to the touch um, the paper lays flat as you can see no trouble with the major warping or anything like that I didn't really soak the paper um, some people are really heavy with uh, 
They want to be able to do like wet on wet washes and things like that in these little sketchbooks. And not every sketchbook is made for that. Um, a lot of it depends on whether or not the paper has the correct sizing, is it both sides, is it just one side, how absorbent is the paper, how, how was it processed, how was it made. There's a whole uh, you know, manufacturing process to that. And not every paper manufacturer knows how to do that real well. And so your paintings and drawings uh, will um, be affected by that. So you want to buy good quality stuff. Uh, and that's my point. Anyway, on those Hannah Mule uh, sketchbooks, my friend Roz Stendahl reviewed these sketchbooks extensively on her website. I encourage you to go have a look there. And she, she put them to some pretty good tests uh, with a few different types of medium. And I think she, uh, she came to the same conclusion that I did, but it's interesting to read her thoughts and and how she feels about this. And really it was Roz who was responsible for ordering these into wet paint and introducing them to the local market. So a shout out to Roz for that. Really appreciate it because turns out they're awesome. As I was going through uh, Roz's website and checking out some of the stuff she blogs about, I was just reminded that sometimes it's easy to take for granted people who are uh, live so close to you and you see quite frequently. Roz is one of those local treasures uh, that I get a chance to interact with from time to time and I just uh, love hanging around with Roz and talking to her. Although her and I have some disagreements on Stillman and Burns sketchbooks, they're my favorite, they're not her favorite, but um, we agree to disagree on that topic. But here uh, you can catch up on all things Roz and uh, just go check out her blog. She's got a website. She's wonderful. Um, get over there if you can and check her out. Well, I'm happy to talk about some gifts I recently received from a good friend in Dusseldorf, Germany. Um, my friend uh, Anya, she sent me these gifts in the mail and we sometimes exchange gifts. I'll send her things and then she'll send me things. It's always a surprise. And I think it was President Kennedy that once said, Ich bin ein Berliner. I wonder if there's a similar way to say, Ich bin ein Düsseldorf, er, or whatever that saying might be. Maybe Anya can help me out on that because Düsseldorf is a great place right where Anya lives. It's a sort of a fashion and arts cultural center in Germany and um, Schmincke is represented there. So is Faber-Castell. Um, and uh, other great companies and, and, and the fashion industry and things like that. But Anya sent me two really nice half pans of Schmincke watercolors, which I don't have either one of these colors. So that was fantastic. She sent me an antique pencil holder. And I don't know if she knew this or not, but I collect those. And those are awesome. I have a bunch of them. And um, this one's a great one. And she sent me a, a st Stabilio or a Stabilo pencil which was nice, which I tried in the Hannah Mule sketchbook, and these catalogs from Schmincke. As a matter of fact, one of them's in German. You can't even read it in English, which was cool. And um, I have to brush up on my German reading. Uh, it's not that great anymore, but uh, it was really cool. And you can see all the sets, all the Schmincke sets. Really expensive, but again, like I tell people, worth every penny. And this is my favorite thing uh, that Anya sent me. This is one of her... Um, very nice pieces uh, of art. So it's a pattern painting, you can tell there, and she's painted this in, and no matter which way you turn it, it's interesting, which I think is really cool. And it's on this uh, postcard paper, so that's cool. And I'm gonna put that in a frame and treasure that. That is really, really awesome. Thank you, Anya. It's so kind of you to send me a piece of your own artwork. I'm, I really treasure this. So Anya also has a Pinterest uh, page or site that I go to a lot and look at the things that she likes because I'm interested in the same sort of artwork and pattern stuff and it's kind of cool to look at that. So if you get a chance, check out her Pinterest page and I'll post a, maybe a link. And then, you know, coincidentally, Anya didn't know that I was going to look at these Hannah Mule um, sketchbooks, but she sent me a couple of these Hannah Mule um, little sketchbooks right here these little brown ones these are kind of they're not hardcover they're loose but they're really cool and i'm gonna have to try this out soon too so that's i'm really uh, i was really overwhelmed to get this this is cool and you know not stuff you can pick up every day here like i said the hardcover sketchbooks were just introduced um 
in America. So she sent me this without even knowing it that you can't really get these here. So I think it's really cool to get stuff in the mail that you're not expecting. And then, you know, what a treasure trove. I love these catalogs. You know, I look at um, the different paints types and I can get the colors here. There's really good swatches in these catalogs. And you can't pick these up just anywhere, especially these ones that are exclusively in German. Um, my favorite part of that catalog is going to the back and looking at all the really nice sets um, that I can't afford, <laughs> but they're cool. So this is my um, my Anya art haul that she sent me, which is just brilliant. I love all this stuff, but I treasure uh, that painting the most. It's just brilliant. And um, I just can't say how much I appreciate that, Anya. And here is a map of Dusseldorf. Talked a little about, a bit about Dusseldorf, and I had the good fortune of visiting this um, city once while I was stationed in Germany and it is really a fascinating uh, place you know it the history of German cities goes way way back um, so you know by American standards we think anything 200 years old is old but you know places like uh, Dusseldorf and Munich and other places Berlin they go back you know 800 a thousand years or something like that so but this is some of the scenery that Anya gets to enjoy on a regular basis. In um, you've probably seen pictures of this famous architecture. That building's in Dusseldorf as well. And there's a nice park along the canal. So Anya lives in a very beautiful place, and you know, filled with artistic people and things like that. But I love this, and I'm going to get this in a frame. So thank you, Anya. All right, so um, I promised I'd recommend two good books, and here they are. The first one is The Urban Sketching Handbook by Gabby Campanario. Now, uh, it says Gabriel there, but his friends know him as Gabby. I'm not his personal friend, but I know this. He founded the Urban Sketchers uh, group. So this is a guy that um, was, I think he's worked for newspapers and uh, I think he still works for the Seattle Times, if I'm not wrong about that. Uh, correct me if I am, but he's written a number of books, and this one is really good. I have uh, all of his books except for one, um, Sketching Seattle, I think it's called. But um, this book is just a fantastic uh, look into um, kind of how to sketch people and, and, and motion and things like that. And... Um, and what he does in this book is he just gives you a lot of fantastic tips on um, how to use, uh, you know, different sketching methods to capture the moment and things like that. And people, like I said, in motion or action or whatever, which is something um, many sketchers struggle with, uh, as a matter of fact. So he kind of helps with that. I think number one thing you got to take out of this is just don't stress out so much and, you know, um, don't worry about what you're doing so much as just doing it you know so much of life is like that so it's a good book and then the next book i take a look at is the five minute sketching architecture super quick techniques for amazing drawings by liz Steele. liz Steele is an australian i think she's based in sydney uh and i have um also she's uh, written some other books that i have as well but i didn't have this one and i got these two books for christmas and just haven't been able to um you know put them down since there really are awesome tips because people get hung up on architecture thinking well it has to be perfect or, you know if i'm going to render a building or a house all the angles the perspective everything has to look perfect and that's really not what sketching is about so again a lot of what you hear in these both these books is just relax and do just relax and do it so if 2017 if you need a resolution um <laughs> you probably have plenty already but maybe that's one of them just relax and just do don't worry about so much about whether or not something's perfect because it'll never come perfect if you don't put pen to paper and pen to paper a lot or pencil to paper or brush to canvas or whatever it is you do artistically you have to do it you have to engage in it to get better and I think that's what this book tells you but more importantly it tells you how to do those things which I thought was pretty cool in both books I recommend them alright it's time for the two minute sketching demo um, I regularly get out every Saturday at least uh, once a week uh, with a couple of friends um, and a group of people from the Underground Artist League. 
Um, we're on Facebook. You can look us up. We're a private group, but if you apply to join, I let most people in. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. But um, the test to get in is just, are you an artist, basically? So this sketching that I do, I do in public, and I try to do um, in real time where people are in that position or whatever, and then I have to either qu quick snap a photo, which some people don't really like, so I try to get it in, in real time, and sometimes it's, it's not always perfect, but, um, but this is some sketching. Again, I always tell people, I remind them, use a hard pencil and draw very lightly your first outline. You're always going to be able to fill this in and get better at it. See how I'm going over, getting darker, uh, going light to dark increasingly. That way if I make a mistake I can correct it. And that's sort of the secret to um, getting better drawings is being able to correct um, your mistakes uh, before they, you know, ruin the picture I guess. Um, so this is just, uh, you know, I'm doing some snow here with this UM-153 Uniball gel pen. You can see there, that's the finished work there. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, those are just some quick, quick tips. And uh, like I said, it's two minutes is a short period of time. There's a hipster at the coffee shop, a bearded hipster. And now our featured artist, Lynn Pauley. All right, this is a look at Lynn Pauley's small size sketchbook. All right, Lynn, let's go. What do we have here? Okay, this is some uh, people having lunch at Ikea. Wow. Same here. Oh, that's lovely. I thought he had turned out looking like Dracula. So I called this page Dracula and the Innocents. Very nice. More Ikea. I go out there with Berta. And Roberta we, likes to draw people at Ikea? Yes, they've got a wonderful big wide open eating area. Okay. okay, here's where I started my little animal collection. With the red fox and the red panda. Look at that. And the backing is little uh, dictionary pages that I okay. glue in. Okay, very nice. Okay, more cafe, cafe people. This is at the... Um, M Street Cafe in the St. Paul Hotel. Very nice. Got a little decorative here. Okay, Sam. Oh, okay. Who's this guy? He was a very loud man in the cafe. So he got my attention. I thought I may as well draw while I was there. Okay, more animals. Oh, look at this. This is an little alpaca. That's like a little alpaca. And a sheep. Sheep's brilliant. I know. Yeah, he's my favorite. All right. Here's uh, some creme brulee that I had at that scene. Did you make that? I didn't make it, though. No. It ate could it. almost be a bottle cap. It does look like a bottle cap. It's got the little ridges on the bottom. Looks it was cool. delicious. And this is your receipt? That's my receipt. Nice. St. Paul Hotel, M Street Cafe. Very nice. More animals. Koala. Oh, look at this guy. Had fun with this fur. And the Keel Build Toucan. Wow. Isn't he cool? Toucan Sam, we're going to call him. All right. Another receipt from uh, lunch at the Buttered Tin. Long-eared hair. Sketching at Union Depot. This is my trusty sketching bag. Let's turn this one. Oh, oh this one I kind of copied from a little ad. Okay. But I love drawing the little car with all the luggage. Yeah, the canoe. Nice. Very good. <laughs> okay, this if you can see it this way first, is um, by, uh, what's his name, Egon Scheel, okay. German painter. This is a drawing of his sister. It's very long. She has a big patterned roll on. Okay. I started drawing it at the Art Institute. And this is, I did them both upside down. So I drew this upside down. And then, anyway, so they're kind of a mirror image. 
These are business cards um, by an artist who has a studio in the um, AZ Gallery, or shows her work in the AZ Gallery. Her name is DC Ice. I didn't get a chance to meet her, but I love her work. It's all on little pieces of wood. Pretty nice. Yeah, so I was special. So I gave them little frames. And this is a blue footed booby. <laughs> really cute bird. And this is a red footed booby. Nice. So, what you have here, in a sense, is a pair of boobies. <laughs> It's really their name. I know, I'm 14 we years old. From the Galapagos Islands. Very nice. Okay. Oh, look at this owl. That's Fresh a really off snowy owl. Today. Yeah, that's beautiful. And your duckling? My darling duckling. Quack. Quack. Very nice. Last, uh, yesterday I had lunch at the public kitchen in Lower Town. Very nice. And. There's this big window. Of course, I only got that much in. That's brilliant. Well, what draws you to sketching? Oh, well, it's something I'm good at. Not to blow my own horn, but it, it's really fun. Yes. And this little sketchbook is so doable when I'm out and about. That's not too overwhelming, right? Right. Yeah. It's just tiny. And I have a lot of other sketchbooks going at the time, but... How many sketchbooks do you have filled in? Oh, let's see. I would say maybe 15. 15 sketchbooks? You can see my little palette. There's your little palette. The other one I already closed and I can't get it open without my exact one. Well, thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Marty. So that was my friend and fellow league member artist underground artist league member lynn Pauley with a quick tour of her brilliant little sketchbook i love how she does the um, animals against the written page or the type page that's pretty cool well if you haven't had a chance please go over and check out my blog and if you scroll down just a little ways down the page on the right hand side you can click on this blue button that should say follow and about once a month or so you'll get a little notice in your email that says, should say hey uh, Marty's added uh, an entry into the blog and you can go check it out and see some of my artwork and follow my artistic journey. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, comment, and share this video. I love to hear from you guys and I love to interact and have conversations uh, on the YouTube channel. So drop me a note and um, yeah, we'll strike up a conversation. Well, thanks very much. This was kind of a whirlwind tour of all things cool in German. I want to say a special thanks to my friend Lynn, uh, Lynn Pauly for her sketchbook tour, my friend Anja Muir in Germany, and uh, who said, was kind enough to send me the nice gifts, and to uh, Ra Stendahl as well as my friend Darren at Wet Paint for sharing the Hannah Mule sketchbooks with me. Well, that's it for today, and I wish you a happy new year and a joyous and prosperous and peaceful 2017. So long, everybody. Don't forget to check out OinesArt.com.